while how I have missed this place. Your father and I used to come here all the time. Yeah. And he would always order a BLT. Jeff loved the BLT. <laughs> you know what? What? I think I'm going to order one myself today in his honor. Great. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> a BLT at Kelly's with my son. What more could I want? Let's go somewhere else. Waitress, excuse me. Wait! Luke! Heather! What can I do for you? As if you don't already know. We have some unfinished business. I'd like to finish it. You too. Huh? When I came to see you the other night, it was just a... Well... I wanted to make amends for past mistakes. I did not mean to upset anybody or cause any trouble. That was not my intention. It's easy to misinterpret when someone just shows up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy, yeah. Assuming you were a couple. <laughs> Silly me, I mean, it's clear that you're just friends. You're not really Luke's type at all. He prefers blonde. Okay, well, thank you for the uh, apology. We totally accept it, right? Right. right. You know, we have to get that. It's good to see you. No, 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 no. Please, no, please, uh, Luke, give me a chance to make it up to you. Let me buy you lunch. I mean, technically, it would be on Stephen's tab, but, well, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, well, it's very sweet of you, Heather, but we have this thing, so and we really need... No, I won't we take really... no for an answer. Come on. Okay. Thanks. Anna, join us. No. Please. 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 When Rose Kelly was running the place, you remember Rose, Luke? Sure, sure. I liked Rose. I wanted to date her. <laughs> but I've always been partial to the times when my Aunt Ruby ran this joint. Oh, I love Ruby. Yeah. When Aunt Ruby took over the diner, you would have thought she'd been in the business her whole life. You never would have guessed she used to be a map. Yes, she was. And I've always been proud of all my aunt's business ventures. You know, she left this place to uh, me and Bobby. <sighs> Excuse me. No. I need to talk to you about your mother. Mm. This is so good. Mm -mm. It reminds me of when I was a little girl. Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry. Really? Gosh, I'm such a klutz. I'm really? Sorry. There is a whole big, wonderful world out there for you to catch up on. It would be a mistake, and frankly, a waste of time for you to focus on me. I'm just worried how my mom's gonna react when I try to drag her into a shrink's office. She thinks she's perfectly normal again. Yeah, but we've seen enough to know that Heather's nowhere close to normal. I, I think at the very least, we need to hand over her files to Dr. Keenan to see if he comes to the same conclusions as her doctors at Ferncliff. I just wanted the chance to tell you I'd like to start over. Start what over? To start over as friends. I just didn't want to say so in front of the others. Sorry about that. That was work. I have a consult. How would you like to take another trip down memory lane? Come to the hospital with me. Right now? You know, that's a great idea. It'll give you time to reacquaint yourself with your son, rebond. Wonderful, wonderful. Looks right. And this time I'm going to be the one to not take no for an answer. All right. Okay. Bye. See ya. Oh, my God. My console shouldn't take that long. You okay? Waiting here for a few minutes? perfectly fine, Stephen. Steve. You can't wander off like you did yesterday. Don't worry. I learned my lesson. Okay. I want to trust you. But you also have to prove yourself. Don't leave or there will be repercussions. I look forward to the day when a speech like that won't be necessary. I'll do everything I can to earn your trust. Good. I'll be back.
Hello, Samantha. Remember me? 